United Airlines has ordered 15 supersonic jets. How many people will it carry? Where will they fly? And will this deal ever actually happen? Let's jump into it and I'll explain everything. So today, United made the shocking announcement that it's ordered 15 supersonic jets, Concorde 2.0s, from Boom Supersonic, a startup uh, engineering firm that is bringing back supersonic travel to the world. United is the first airline from America to actually order this new upcoming technology. However, other airlines also include Virgin Atlantic and Japan Airlines, who have bought their place to get this new cutting edge technology as soon as possible. So United has spent $3 billion to acquire 15 of these jets straight off the production line before any other USA competitor. That includes Delta and American Airlines. United also has the option to get the next 50 as well, meaning that they could have a fleet of up to 65 supersonic jets around the world by the end of this decade in 2030. United plans to use these aircraft from New York to London in only 3 hours and 30 minutes to Tokyo in around about 6 to 7 hours as well as flying from New York to Frankfurt. You'll notice that most of these routes are taking place over the ocean. This is because in the world today, there are still rules and regulations against sonic booms over land or near population centers. This means that an aircraft, it can still fly at the normal speed a normal plane goes, say for example, when it flies over Western Europe, but if it wants to go fast, it's going to need to break the sound barrier. And if it breaks the sound barrier, it's gonna have a sonic boom, which means that it can only happen over oceans. The vice president for United also mentioned how exciting it's going to be to fly on board. He said that at 60,000 feet with these big windows, it's going to be an amazing experience. If we take off from London just after sunset, passengers will be able to see the sun rise in the west as they beat it back to New York, meaning that you could have dinner in London and then have dinner again in New York. With only 55 passengers on board, these planes will be configured in a 1-1 business class configuration. It will be a little bit cramped inside this tube, but you will have plenty of room and will have the same amenities that you would expect from the standard business class seats that you would fly on board other planes. However, there won't be any sort of lie flat bedding because simply put, you're not gonna have any time. This plane is going to get to where you need to be pretty much before you left your destination. Now, of course, I do need to mention the cost of the ticket. There's only 55 seats on board these aircraft, so United is going to charge a lot. And then they're gonna charge even more because they're gonna be the only American airline that is flying these routes with these supersonic planes. So, the price figure that United has said to media is around about 5,000 to 7,000 US dollars per way. That means it's gonna cost you $14,000 to save around about six hours in travel time if you're flying over the Atlantic, which of course is the cost of the rest of your holiday, a very good holiday at that. But for some people, time is money, and this is the target market. Billionaires, know that they can't possibly get any more time. And so they are looking for ways, especially when it comes to air travel, that allows them to get to where they wanna be as quickly as possible. Boom Supersonic is heavily banking on this, whilst the 55-seater version is definitely grabbing headlines, just like this huge United deal that happened. The real trick will be in the private aerospace business. You can totally imagine everything from Saudi kings to American CEOs to perhaps dictators wanting to buy this aircraft. They'll be able to jet around in style and the fact that it can handle 55 seats means there is plenty of room on board in a private configuration. And I, for one, can't wait to see what those people come up with. So if you're thinking about buying the Boom Supersonic private jet, please uh, let me come on board and review it. 
So if you didn't know, Boom Supersonic is a startup that is bringing back supersonic travel. At the moment, they have built a prototype. It hasn't flown yet, but it will very soon. A prototype tri-jet one-seater supersonic civil jet. This means this is the very first time since the Concorde that we have seen a civilian project like from the private enterprise, not government backed, that is able to go supersonic. And this is very exciting because if this works, there is nothing to stop Boom Supersonic rolling out these plans for ginormous 55 seater versions of this same design. And this is exactly what United has bought. So they're going to have a fleet of around 15 to 50 aircraft, or even up to that 65 I mentioned earlier, of 55 passengers per aircraft. And I kid you not, the media around the world is buzzing by this exciting news. The fact that a huge airline like United is willing to throw its lot in into this technology, it shows that it is more than just a pipe dream. I've done a complete video on the Boom Supersonic project on my other channel, and I'll throw a link up here on the screen for you to go check that out right now. And that fully explains their history, what happens next, and when we're gonna fly it. Blake Skoll, the CEO at Boom Supersonic, had this to say. By the end of the decade, we want to do supersonic as quickly as possible. We think the world needs this. Now, for those of you who are watching this and thinking, this is a huge environmental disaster waiting to happen. Well, Boom Supersonic is claiming that these jets will be completely carbon neutral. They will be built from sustainable materials or materials that can be carbon offset, because I don't really think that some of these supersonic titaniums are really that carbon neutral. And it will also use sustainable jet fuel, a lot of it you can fly on board this without worrying too much. Although I can't say what the sonic boom will do to those nature areas that the plane will fly over. There is also a slight controversial issue that is also brewing. United got a $3.5 billion grant to prop up the airline during this time, as well as a $1.5 billion loan. The fact that United has then turned around and paid Boom Supersonic $3 billion for 15 aircraft that don't exist, and it might just be a vaporware dream. We saw Arion go bankrupt only a week or two ago, and now Boom Supersonic is cashing checks for $3 billion, money that has come from the US government. It starts to make you think that this could be a some sort of scheme to take the taxpayers' dollars and funnel it into rich people's bank accounts. However, I, I am fully just saying that out there that I don't know myself personally, and I fully support that I hope that this supersonic dream takes place because it's going to change the aviation industry forever. The other caveat is, is that this is a purchase contract to purchase the planes when they're built. So whilst it's $3 billion, it's money that hasn't actually really changed hands apart from a deposit. So Boom Supersonic needs to build this plane and they need billions of dollars of more research and development to do it before any of the money from United will change hands. So simply put, so it's a very safe deal for United. We can't also predict how the market will react by the time a new supersonic jet will reach it. Take for example when the Concorde was operating. It was full and profitable for British Airways at the end of its run. However, a lot of those seats and those people that were flying were simply people who upgraded because they flew extensively throughout the rest of the British Airways network. It was a prestige flight that you aimed to get, much like if you flew on board Etihad and you wanted to fly in that better than first class apartment. So if United did deploy 15 of these supersonic jets, say for example on the New York to London route, would it really be that much of a game changer or would it be a loss leader to just try and make them appear to be better than the competition? Will many people still prefer to fly the slower way of between the two cities with the lie flat beds and the other amenities that you have come in considerable comfort as well? rather than jumping on board one of these Flash Gordon spaceships. 
According to Boom Supersonic, the future is truly supersonic, and before we know it, you're going to be flying across the world everywhere you go as quickly as possible. But it remains to be seen if they can really achieve this supersonic dream. Thanks for checking in for this news flash. I'll chuck socials up in a corner somewhere, and I invite you to subscribe for more daily aviation news and reviews videos. I've been Nick, your host, and I'll catch you in the next video.